Malaysia one more time. Yeah. Heading to Thailand. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. As far as boat projects goes, uh, things have been really nice because we were close to marinas and everything was available. Today, as soon as we checked out of Malaysia, our refrigerator started showing error one. Um, on initial investigation, I think it is the sensor which is defective. I have to locate the sensor. I don't know where it is inside the fridge. Uh, the temperature sensor which actually regulates cutting in and out of the compressor so yeah we are leaving with a fridge at 50 percent efficiency <laughs> maybe we'll have to eat all our food fast before oh, it goes bad i can do that you can do that yeah you're always hungry i'm always hungry that's damn right we set sail from telaga harbor marina to krabi via kotarotau and komuk this time, our plan was to sail into the Krabi River, anchor there in the heart of the city. Setting the mainsail is a three-person job on our boat. We'll go on the deck pulling the mainsail line making it simpler for me, while I'm in the cockpit ensuring that the boom and the main sheet and the mainsail lines are pulled. Okay. Yeah, plus 20. Plus 20. While Kea is on the wheel following Gogo's instructions as we need to keep the boat in the direction of the wind as the sail is being pulled. Excellent day of sailing. Ah, doing a lovely three and a half, four knots. Wind is around uh, eight to nine knots. Calm seas, as you can see. What a day. As you must have noticed, I've invested in some headgear. It's getting too hot. And my head tends to get really hot you know i've started getting some headaches and all that so uh, somebody suggested please wear a cap because you don't have any fur on top so yeah the headgear helps and let's try to give you a view of the bow wave Algae in water. On full Genoa and full main, the crew flag. That is the flag that shows the nationality of the crew. 
I'm not able to see too much sun. And the boat is on autopilot. Where is on watch? Hello, officer of the watch. What's happening? Cooking. Cooking? <laughs> You're on watch. How can you cook? I'm on watch? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, all well, all well. Going good. <laughs> We absolutely love sunsets and a sunset at sea has its own charm. I feel sunsets are proof that no matter what happens, each day can end as beautifully with the promise of a new beginning. sailing we have to be careful of these kind of fishing boys the fishing boy with the flag indicates that there is a fishing net below it and one needs to stay clear after a short sail we anchored at komuk one of my favorite places to be in thailand we bumped into some friends and had a lovely evening watching the sunset everything seemed so perfect it was all just too good to be true early next day to reach krabi before the sun set with great winds and three sailboats alongside the journey was more interesting than ever into Porta Cola for the second time. First time we were not towed in, yeah. We made it but our engine was gonna like die any time. It was kind of that kind of situation. Yeah today we're getting towed in because I think we've lost our propeller. I don't know, I'm not so sure. <laughs> so. so go down and check and let us know. Yeah. Okay. So I we're think. closed now I think we should stop the recording and all hands on deck? All hands on deck. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Losing a propeller isn't very common. And we were really lucky that we realized this just outside Port Takola. We don't know what tomorrow holds for us or what's going to happen now. All I know is that with this day ending, that tomorrow is going to be a better day.